If you've been on the internet for some time, you probably already know that ChatGPT is taking over the world. Seriously, it's like wherever I go, ChatGPT seems to be there. But if for some reason you don't actually know what ChatGPT is, ChatGPT is essentially a chatbot capable of doing whatever you chuck at it. For example, if you ask to write you an essay, it would do that. Or even create the perfect workout plan for you. It's really staggering what it can do. But I thought to myself, what if we ask it to make code? Roadblock Studio Code. Well, that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be giving ChatGPT a set of instructions going from easy to expert and seeing how we can deal with it. This is going to enable us to pretty much test ChatGPT's limitations and see if we can really create a Roblox game for us. But without further ado, let's go. All right, for the first test, we're going to be asking the ChatGPT, can they print out hello to the output every two seconds? So we're going to ask them, can you make me a Roblox script which will print out hello every uh, every two seconds? And there you go, as you can see, it's starting to generate. All right, so as you can see, it's finished generating and it gives us two really cool things. So first of all, it gives us the code. And second of all, it gives us this really nice brief explanation, which I think is very helpful. All right, so what we're going to do with this, we're going to copy the code. And because it's easy, we're not going to actually um, ask it where we know to, where we have to put it because I already know we have to put it in server script service. So hop back into Roblox, go to server script service instead of script and get rid of this and put this in. Now let's go ahead and test this. Okay, so as you see, we've spawned into the game and if we look down to the output, you can see here, hello is printing every two seconds. One, two, and there you go. So for the first test, it has worked. Bruh. Now, for intermediate, we're going to be asking ChatGPT, can they make a loop which uh, removes a player from the game if their account is older than 10 days old? Before we get onto that though, make sure you go down and press the subscribe button. It will help out a lot. But yeah, other than that, let's go back. Okay, so to do this, we're just going to type in the question. Can you make me a script that loops through a... Uh, or all the players in the game and if a player's account age is greater than 10 days old can you kick them from the game no so as you can see it's read what we said and it's saying sure here is a script that will loot for all the players of the game check their account age and kick players who have an account age greater than 10 days so here it is making the script now all right so it's done generating and as you can see it's given us this script here and it's uh, said down here to use the scripts copy and paste it into a local script in roblox then click the green uh, run uh, to execute the script this will kick any players who have an account age greater than 10 days and as you can see that is exactly what we asked for so let's go ahead and test this out all right so we have the script but where do we put it we haven't actually asked them that so let's go ahead and ask ChatGPT that question so ChatGPT, where do i put this script so to use a script you'll need to paste it into a local script a local script is a type of script that runs on the client rather than on the server to create a local script follow these steps all right so weirdly it's asking us to place this script in starter gui which seems a bit weird at first but let's go ahead and try this so we're going to delete this script here first of all and we're going to go to starter gui and insert a local script and paste in this script so now let's go ahead and run this. And just like that, it's worked. As you can see, the first thing that appears on my screen is actually uh, you uh, you were kicked. So actually, if we want to wait a little bit before it checks, uh, then we can do a wait here. So let's wait five seconds and let's try it again. All right, so we're waiting five seconds. Our character is in the game. And as you can see, we've been kicked from the game. So test two, intermediate has worked. Okay, but one of the things about uh, ChatGPT is that it won't always generate accurate scripts. So sometimes I could ask it and it'll give me this, but sometimes it'll give me something different, which which can be actually quite annoying, but I don't blame them because this is only in early development stages. Advancing on to the hard stage now, uh, I'm not sure what result this is going to give us, but let's try it. So for the advance, we're going to be asking uh, the uh, chatbot to make a shift to sprint. So let's go ahead and ask it. Chat, well actually, let's just say, can you make a script for Roblox Studio that will uh, make the player sprint when I press the left shift uh, button? So as you can see, ChatGPT does sometimes take quite a while to generate uh, questions. 
but that's okay. We're just going to wait a little bit and it should work. All right, so it's done generating and it's given us this script. And as usual, let's ask it, where do I put this script? Okay, so once again, it's telling us to paste it into the starter GOA folder. So let's copy the code and let's do that. So add a local script and let's get rid of this and paste it in. And let's go ahead and press play. Sure. All right, so perfect. We've come across our first error of the day and it says key down is not a valid member of player players dot my account using it so let's copy this error and let's go back to chat gpt and let's just ask it i let's just say to it i have an error it says let's actually get rid of this all right so it said to us here that we should update it instead of key up on key down we should use the user input service uh service so it's doing that right now okay so boom it's given us this and it's replaced it with instead of key up and key down it's given us the user input service, which is a more practical method of doing it. Oh, and of course, it's asked us to put it into a local script. Okay, so I've put the code in and we're running it. And we don't seem to have any errors, so let's go ahead and press left shift. And as you can see, I am faster now. And if I let go, I slow down. If I make it more obvious, actually, I can set this to 60. And there you go. And if I let go, our speed goes back to normal. So now for test three, we can say that that has worked as well. Now, that's all good, but let's try with the final test, and that's going to be an expert level code. And for this one, we're just going to be asking it to generate a very difficult script. And then we're going to paste it into what it tells us. And if it works, it works. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. Well, no. All right. So now for the final test, can you please create a, a difficult Roblox Studio script? So sure, here is a script that will create a GUI with a button. When the button is clicked, it will create a part and animate to move it across the screen. That's quite good, actually. Now, one of the annoying things about ChatGPT, actually, it does take a long time to generate the scripts. So I'm literally just here waiting, uh, <laughs> doing absolutely nothing. Okay, so it's done with that. And it says to use a script to copy and paste it into a local script. Then click the green button. Nah, 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 nah. This creates UI, and we already know that. But it doesn't actually tell us to create any of this but let's just try it anyways uh, and of course where do I put the script all right and once again it's told us to put it into the starter GUI folder so of course let me take this code and let's put it in a local script and wow look at that you can see the GUI on screen let's click it oh what and look at that it animates really nicely I actually, to be honest with you, I did not expect that to work. So we can now conclude that ChatGPT will work if you want to uh, add some cool stuff to your Roblox game or even create a game. If one of you in the comment section actually create a game like this, I will be shocked. And I will definitely put it on my channel. But yeah, as you can see, we can have lots of fun with this and just click it continuously. But yeah, in conclusion, ChatGPT is definitely a good resource. But would I recommend it for actually making games? Probably not. Probably just there as a buddy just to help you out. Yeah, other than that, it was quite interesting finding out what ChatGPT could do uh, and its limitations. We found out that sometimes it's going to generate scripts that aren't necessarily accurate, but that's okay because it says that there. But other than that, it was very, very good actually. Um, and, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you did enjoy, leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.